Chris, uh, I mean, excuse me, Austin, uh, so tomorrow's a bit the big day, you know, how are, what are the emotions, you know, leading into the season opener? Uh, a little bit of anxiousness, uh, excitement, there's a whole bunch of feelings. Um, I think we're pretty ready this year, and I uh, think we're, we're ready to get out there and finally start, uh, start playing some other teams. We've been training for the past six months, so it's time that uh, we start playing some other, other teams. Uh, two, two seasons ago, you know, the, they were coming off their second straight uh, sub-500 season. You guys brought it back up to 500. Mm -hmm. uh, how, do you feel like carrying that momentum uh, as far as, you know, expanding upon uh, last year, finishing with a winning record again? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, last year we really changed around the uh, culture again, getting it back to old Bulldog baseball. And uh, I think that's to our advantage this year. And we have some of the guys from last year who are bringing over that culture again to this year. Can you expand upon that? I know Coach Bates will talk a little bit about that yeah, at, yeah. at the dinner and stuff. What, that, how did the culture change? You know, you were there that, that first year where they lost and stuff. Yeah. What, what kind of change and what, what do you feel like you can build upon? Uh, I think more than anything, just uh, the toughness uh, that we've gotten back. And uh, before we'd kind of we'd, uh, fall out of games and not really have uh, the toughness to get back in them. And I think that's changed around a lot. And also the team aspect. Uh, we had. Uh, we got a lot of people coming in together and making it a team effort instead of an indi individual effort. So what do you think about the conference honors, not only from you, but obviously you guys are pegged third. What do you guys think about that right now? Um, it's, it's, an awesome th it's an awesome honor, and, and I really feel blessed and grateful that I've gotten all those, but yeah, that's not really what it's all about. It's more about our team and winning, winning the ring. You mentioned uh, the six months you guys have been waiting. I'm sure it's felt longer than that. How do you guys replace uh, Mundell and Ward, sort of that leadership stuff, as you guys get ready for, for this year? Yeah, we uh, definitely some experience uh, gone, but I think we have a, we have a couple seniors who've taken their place, and uh, we, we have some good leaders on the team, more of a team leadership rather than individual leaders who uh, we all come together as one. And so, uh, obviously, the leadership stuff uh, off the field on it as well. What about the lineup? How do you expect you guys to, to kind of compete? You guys going to have a lot of power? You guys going to have to hit a little bit more? Uh, I think we're going to have a, vi a pretty even lineup overall. We're, we're pretty dangerous one through nine, I, I have a feeling. And uh, we have some good, some good bats through one through nine. Uh, not, I don't expect any one person to uh, do all the work for us. I think uh, everybody can pick up their slack and uh, bring some contribution to the team. What about non-conference? You guys have always, you know, set up pretty nice non-conference yeah, yeah. late. What do you think about this year's schedule? Uh, we have some, we have some tough games going to Texas A&M, uh, bringing in Long Beach and stuff. Uh, I think it's some good competition for us. Uh, out of conference and gets us ready for coming back into conference. And with some of those series, do you feel like the ones over the last couple of years are prepared? I mean, do you guys get really up for these things now, or do you guys kind of say, well, you know, it's Creighton or it's uh, an A&M or it's in Long Beach, and we're, we're okay with that because we've played pretty tough schedules? No, there. absolutely. Uh, I, I think we're kind of used to playing uh, t top teams in the country and, and playing the best talent all over the nation, and I think it really prepares us in the long run. And we get excited for those games because it's just kind of a chance for us to prove ourselves. What does uh, the pitching look like, particularly uh, the starting pitching for you at, at this point, heading off of them during the offseason? Uh, I think we have a really strong pitching lineup. Uh, we got our solid uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday starters, and uh, we got some staff going on Tuesdays, midweek games. Uh, I think we have a pretty good chance with the pitching we have, and uh, it's going to be interesting seeing them face different hitters than us. I think uh, Ricky Thomas didn't throw like six shutout innings against the alumni. Yes, there. yeah, yeah. He uh, he definitely has improved over last season. He learned a lot going from the Cape, not just from winning games, but I think just uh, learning a lot of things and uh, bringing that back to to uh, Bulldog baseball and kind of just taking over the Friday night spot. And uh, defensively, Coach Bates was saying he thinks you guys might be a little more clean. clean yeah, than yeah, I think so too. Uh, we have some experience in the outfield now and the infield. We our our starting lineup is is a lot of experience this year, and we have a uh, Burks starting at short. But for the most part, I think uh, just having that experience and being able to transfer that over from last year uh, makes it run a little easier and a little smoother. We expect we trust each guy at the position and know what they are bringing to the table. You're going up against New Mexico, San Diego State. They're the favorites, uh, at least yeah. early on this year. Yeah. Do you, what do you think you guys need to do to, to maybe get to where they're at? Is the gap small? Is, is there something you think that you guys have to do to maybe get up there and then surpass them? Um, I think overall, uh, after last season, I mean, every team's changed, of course, over the year. But uh, 
I think we've kind of narrowed that gap and it seemed like they were front runners every year but I think that's that gap's really narrowing and uh, I think we know what it takes to win now against them and we've seen them a couple times and it just gets even better every time we see them and I think we are prepared for them more than usual this year. All right.